Welcome back to being trapped in a, in a big, scary, uh, mystical dungeon. When we last up, left off, we got the uh, onyx hook, which allows us to transport back. Nah, but, um, we're actually gonna need to do that in the future. I was kind of wondering something, though. Alright, here's uh, some spoilers, you know, for anybody who cares, I guess. It turned, well, in the plot, Magicant is supposed to be, like, the, you know, the, the remnants of, uh, of Maria's spirit or her subconscious or, or whatnot. And since, like, the entire realm of that is, like, her, 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 her like, her state of mind, I guess. Like, what do you think the dungeon represents? I don't know, leave a comment below and try and make up a story that has nothing to do with BDSM. That's my challenge to you. Because, I mean, come on, let's face it. That's the easy one. Ugh, I can't carry anything else. What can I get rid of? Uh, I guess I'll use the life up cream. Alright. Let's take the sword. It's the same thing as a bat, right? I mean... It's not that much different. It's like a bat, but a lot sharper. But here's what I'm envisioning. As far as her sad story goes. Alright. Maybe, you know, before she got married and whatnot, she was, you know, in a kind of a bigger family. And one day, like, or one night, I guess, she got robbed at gunpoint by some, you know, some stranger who, like, broke in with a mask or something. And ever since then, she's been on, like, this mental witch hunt. And this this dungeon is, like, her desire to, to, get, to get justice on that person. But it's so empty. Because she never found out who it was. Isn't that such a sad story? Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. <laughs> yes, how, how appropriate. Alright. Here's how we get out of here. We gotta talk to this guy. I am a forgotten man. I'm not really here. So, I'm just hallucinating you? God, I really gotta get off the acid. You you didn't have to notice me. Please ignore me. I'm a man who does not exist. You talk so kindly, I don't know what to do. If I miss people, I cannot live alone anymore. Uh, okay, so basically you just have to annoy the fuck out of him by not leaving him alone. My conversation is always a monologue. I've been alone from the moment I was, I was born. Wait a minute. How is that possible? Like, if you are literally... How are you literally alone from the moment you're born? <laughs> so, like, what happened at his birth? Did, did his mom just give birth to him and just, like, dump him off at, at a church somewhere? Lucky, unlucky, makes no difference to me. Sometimes even bre Oh my god, this is depressing. It, do you need a hug or something? Like, why do you insist on talking to me? Because I'm not an asshole, that's why. And you're clearly sad, so... Are you a forgotten man, too? Um... I think I'm supposed to say yes to this. Don't give me that guard. Oh my god, wow, she's awfully hostile. Oh, man. I think I gotta start this over. Okay, nah. He kinda... He only, he only goes back on his conversation a little bit. It makes no difference to me. God, I, I really want to be this guy's friend or something. I mean... For, uh, yeah, you gotta be honest with him. That's right, that is right. Go ahead, ignore me like everyone else. That's right, thank you. So, the way to beat this is continue to be... Is like, to, to just be a dick to him like everybody else has. Uh, all right. I mean, it not the the nicest way to end things, but I mean, I, I guess if that's how it is, uh, I don't know. So this is the point of the game where we're finally gonna fight some aliens. Little saucer was. Oh god. Yeah, it protects him from physical damage. 
Come out and face me, you coward. Are you feeling lucky, you punk? Yeah, like and comment if you think I have the worst Clint Eastwood impression of, of all time. Why am I fighting an eagle? What part of America am I in exactly? Um, I think it was actually theorized on some website that Mother One, um, like Podunk and whatnot, like takes place in the state of Washington. I'm not sure though, but I mean, please correct me, somebody, if I'm wrong. Like, what are are, are eagles and whatnot really even common in this country? Like, if so, like, which part specifically? Hmm, I got a bad feeling about fighting these skunks here. I hope they aren't them animals who like to spray me and make me smell bad for the next few days. Especially because I don't even shower in the first place. Oh, wait a minute, I'm low on health, aren't I? Son of a bitch. These are some pretty strong skunks. You know, for animals who only, like, spray people in defense. Alright. Yeah! Skunk Bee became quiet and somehow survived me beating it with a baseball bat. Gonna give small animals concussions and gain experience points, yeah. So, like, the it seems that they're all specifically coming after me for some reason. Like, again, as I've said before, like, I've never seen any of these animals attack other random people. So, since they're being controlled by aliens then that must mean, like, the, the boss at the end of this game is actually quite terrified of me. Even though, like, at the end, like, he, he, like, talks down to me about how, you know, puny and insignificant I am. And... Even though he also has literally infinite hit points. Yeah, the, the way to kill him at the end is actually quite unconventional. Man, Pete is gonna be on my ass for this. It's okay though. It's to save the world. If you have a good cause, it doesn't matter how many things you slaughter in your path. Especially if they if they basically don't know what they're doing. So I'm now fighting the another skunk and the Cheshire Cat on fire. Oh, loud. Suffered 8 damage. My god, you're fast. Good thing I can kill you in two hits, boy. Don't make me fuck you up even more. No, but I'm a, I'm about to come up to the part where um, I finally recruit another party member. That party member being my one and only love, Josh. Oh wait, oh fuck, I'm going the wrong way. I mean, it would have helped if I had a map that, you know, kind of helped me with where I'm going specifically, but... I don't know. What does it matter, right? Okay. Actually, I should probably find a hotel somewhere. My, what what a very, very waste of pavement right here. It does nothing. It li it honestly gives people no more con no convenience whatsoever. But then again, I mean, it's supposed to be a satire of America, so. I guess in that context, it would make sense. You know, speaking of, like, nonsensical, like, traffic setups, have you guys ever seen 
a stop sign planted in the middle of a road, like not at, you know, not at like the, the middle of an intersection where you're supposed to make a turn, like literally the middle like of a road where you're not actually supposed to stop. I've seen that maybe twice in my life, but, you know, leave a comment if you've also seen that kind of thing before. God, how much are they gonna rip me off for? 60. Okay, I guess it's not bad. I mean, considering that I've got more than two grand. Please come back and see us again. Alrighty. Um. Ooh, they got a department. Man, every town's got a department store. Alright. Let's see how how much they're gonna rip me off for a weapon. Talk. Uh, what can I sell you? An aluminum bat, huh? Hmm. Let's see this when you do. All right. I think I'm gonna sell. <sighs> Shit. Oh man, I can't sell things to you. I gotta go all the way downstairs to returns and do that. Um, excuse me, I bought this, this baseball bat, and I don't know, I just want a refund for it, even though I bought it at a different store and I don't have a receipt, I can guarantee you I bought it from this one, and if you don't buy it back from me, I think I'm gonna call corporate and get your asses fired. Oh god, how do I... Uh... Oh god. <laughs> She's like, good, yeah, don't don't return anything. We don't want to deal with your ass. Alright. Um can I just equip the sword? Ugh, fuck. Jesus. Um Hold on. Let's see what the bullhorn does. Look. Your amplified voice may intimidate an uh you know what? I think I'm gonna try and sell the bullhorn. Yep, buy my bullhorn. What? Oh, girl. Oh god, I've got too much shit too. I don't know. I'll figure this out. But if you like my video, you if you like my content, you should give this a like. Uh, you know, again, leave a comment because I'd love to get involved with you guys. You are my audience, so I love you. Um, subscribe and share the video. Alright, see you guys.